Hello Leos with a general reading for the sign of Leos. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's wonderful to have you here and I'm excited to be here as well. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to look at the current energies and then the future energies in this general reading. I will be digging deeper in this general reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking this scenario out the next month or two, and I will be looking at the people who are around you, how they think about um, your situation, how they feel about it, um, their perspective of it. Okay, my friends, let's go ahead and get started. My friends, we begin with the Page of Cups energy. The Page of Cups energy is an energy of love. It's an energy of new love or new inspiration, new feelings of freshness, new emotional lightness. Um, this could also be a, an energy where you've been working on healing and you have found um, a, a sense of um, a step of climbing out of a um, deeper energy, climbing into a, um, a, a fresher type of experience. This is a heart-centered energy. It affects you in your emotions. It affects you in how you feel about the world around you. It is a page, so that tells me that um, it's something that could turn into being much more powerful for you. Um, if it's a, a new relationship, then it could be somebody coming forward and um, and saying, you know, is, would, you, would you like to spend some time together? Would you like to go have some drinks? Or would you like to, whatever you like to do, go on a bike ride, whatever it is, um, there could be someone coming up like that to you. It doesn't have to be that way. It can be someone coming forward with an apology that's compassionate, that's caring, that's kind. Somebody could be coming forward with a message of inspiration and encouragement for you. However this is happening, it has lightened your load. It has brought inspiration. It has brought a feeling of love into you. Um, this is something that is coming towards you or that you are carrying as you move forward. I feel like it's coming towards you. I feel like this is an energy that's coming towards you. I feel like this energy could be coming forward from some kind of experience that was complicated where there could have been a lot of things happening. There could have been a lot of people in this picture or in this scenario. Could be a big family or a large workplace with a lot of people or a active community. You could be active in your community where there's a lot of people. Because I, I'm being shown all the fish, all the fish in the sea and all the water running. See all the waterfalls in this card? There's a lot of waterfalls here. So there's a lot of different ways of thinking about things and a lot of different ways of feeling about things. So there could have been complication here. There could have just been a lot of different emotions around you, a lot of different people with different perspectives feeling differently about a situation, right? If you want to look at this, it could be um, the, the example that comes to mind is politics. Wherever we live in the world, there are politics. And everyone seems to feel, feel a little bit differently about politics, right? That's where all these waterfalls are. But when we express ourselves and when we emit the energy that's within our heart center out, you know, if we're using the, the energy of politics, we have the energy within the heart system, which is the water energy in the cups card. We push that energy, that emotion out outside around us and where does that energy go it goes into the universe in which we walk in we live in it goes into the environment that's around us and so we wait around in the energy of everything that is around us and out of this energy it doesn't have to be politics for some of you it could be politics for others of you it could just be a big family or a lot of different complexities in your space but out of this dynamic environment is coming an energy, a message, perhaps a person who is lighting up your life just a little bit with potential for more. Next to the Page of Cups, we have the Four of Cups energy.
And the Four of Cups energy is an energy of stillness here in this deck. It's an energy of stillness. It's an energy of searching for an answer. Having offers and having situations and having options that are available to us, but not really being pulled to any one of them. For fear you might choose the wrong one. Or because your heart is not pulling you towards anyone. Or because you've already drank from that cup. And you're looking for an experience that is different, that will inspire you. This is the energy that you're in or that you have been in. It's just trying to search for what is meant to be your cup. Trying to find a cup that your hand will wrap around comfortably, that you feel is your style of cup. In a way, it's looking for the vessel, which is the cup. Which cup is meant for you? Is it a wine glass? Is it a tall glass that you would maybe pour cold iced tea into? Is it a thick mug that you could drink coffee from? Is it an old antique, what do they call it, big beer jugs? You know, what is your cup? And what do you feel comfortable holding? And what do you feel comfortable wearing? And what do you feel comfortable offering to others from which kind of a vessel? Because I think there's an energy here of searching. Searching. And sometimes in the searching, we can feel frustrated. We can turn our backs to what's around us. Sometimes it's necessary to do that. But remember, the four energy is an energy of quiet. It's an energy of stability in a in a more negative energy or in a denser energy like the four of cups energy it can be it can be that it can be um, surrounded by or filtered by filtered through or it could have an outer coating of discouragement or frustration or boredom or maybe even a feeling that Maybe one of these cups here isn't really for you. That maybe you're not meant to have a cup. Maybe you're meant to have a plate. Right? It's kind of a silly analogy, but you understand. Remember, this is the Four of Cups is a thicker energy. The Four of Wands is a more excited energy, a more passionate energy. Four of Pentacles. Has a mixture of both in it. And the Four of Swords is rest and reflection. So each of these four energies are a little bit different, but they do have an energy of stillness. Not non-movement. There's some decision here that you're trying to make. This could be a decision about a romantic interest. This could be a decision about a partner at work or some sort of agreement that you have with a community or with another business. Whatever this decision is about, it is a decision that affects two opposite energies, two complementary energies. It is these two energies, if working well together, can be create can create something extraordinary together whether it's a relationship a product a service an experience when these energies are impacted by outside influences or by a need to grow and expand and with fear and ego coming in to try to stop that these energies can affect each other the opposite way. And sometimes this is what we mean by karmic. 
There's a lot of terms that we throw around. But there's a decision here that's being made about this kind of an energy working together, being together with a system or with a person. And how does that system or person fit you? And how do you fit it? There's some sort of decision and understanding that you're going through, probably regarding this page of cups, but it could be separate, could be two separate things that you're doing. Then we move forward into the seven of pentacles. This is an energy of investing, investing in yourself, dreaming, imagining, forecasting the future, waiting, working while you wait, whistling while you work. There is an energy here, an energy of excitement, but the frustration of the wait. So this is an emotional energy where you're bringing in the Gemini quality of intellect and design and wit with the groundedness of investing in oneself. So that's what this group is doing. I'm going to move into the future now, into the next seven to 10 days. I'm going to bring out four cards and I'm going to dig deeper into these energies. Let's see what's here. This is the card that came out. There's that lover's energy again. All right. I'm going to summarize these energies and then I'll dig deeper. So what we have here is the Eight of Pentacles energy next to the Seven of Swords energy Next to the Knight of Wands, the way you like to move, Leo, the way you like to move, next to the Lovers. So there's something you're focusing on now with the Eight of Pentacles. There's something you're working on. There's something here that you're working on. It doesn't have to be work as what we do to earn money. Sometimes we can work on our healing. Sometimes we can work on our understanding of a life event. Sometimes we can work on bringing forward our own truth, right? Working is just focusing to take action, to create an output work. And I think there's a, as you move into the future, I think there is a reality here of understanding that this is important work that you're doing, no matter if you're getting income from it or you're getting healed from it or you're getting, you're allowing yourself to live in your truth from it. There is something that you are receiving back because you have the seven of swords here. And I think this is starting, this is an uh, working on understanding about what has caused you to be at this place. What has caused you to uproot yourself, to dig for the truth? What has caused you to examine your belief system? What has caused you to dig deeper into the pain that you've received in your life? Because we see here that there is a change, that you're going through a change. 
You're picking up your ideas, your thoughts, your experiences, your beliefs, and you're looking at them and you're saying, do I want to keep this one? Or do I want to allow this one to fall away? Do I want to keep this one? Or do I want to heal this one and let it go into the ocean? What do I want to do with these seven swords? Because you're not going to stop with the Eight of Pentacles. Like you're really focused on this. And remember the Seven of Swords is an energy of change. It's an energy of connecting more with the inner self and with the higher self. And with energies of the higher power, whatever you connect with. As you move forward into this next time period, you are moving in a passionate way towards making some sort of a decision. And I think with the Knight of Wands, it's a decision that will be passionate. What is passion? It's a fire within us. It can be full of excitement. It can be angry. Although sometimes that's the Knight of Swords more than the Knight of Wands. It can be spontaneous. It can be foolish, the Knight of Wands. It can be beautiful, the Knight of Wands. It can solve problems that no one else will dare to step into, the Knight of Wands. That's why sometimes it's foolish. Because it's passionate. And sometimes passion isn't rational. In fact, very often passion isn't rational, especially at first. So I think you're moving forward now in your decision about what to do in the way that you're going to be in the next week or two. And you make a decision. You make a change. Now I'm going to dig deeper and see what more information we can get. Let's go into the Knight of Wands. What does the Knight of Wands have to say? What does the Knight of Wands have to say? Two of Swords. You see the truth now. See, the blindfold is off here. The swords are down. The waters have calmed. Your heart center's open. You're a little worried. You've been through a big storm. You've been through a big storm. See if we can get the camera to focus. And you've surrendered into it. See the hands? So now the truth is here. What is truth? It's when you're no longer confused. When you have that peace, that's when you found the truth. Does it have to be what you thought it was going to be? No, it can be more simple. It can be quiet. It can be a quiet truth. But we know that you're going to take action in a passionate way with a lot of intensity, because you have the King of Wands here, Leo. If the Knight of Pentacles was here, along with this still energy of the Two of Swords, it would be a different energy, wouldn't it? It would be slow and steady, maybe quiet. If the Knight of Cups was here, it would be a loving, compassionate message or energy. But this is the Knight of Wands energy. This is an energy that you move forward in, in the most natural of ways, Leo. What is your way of moving forward? Each of you will have a different way because your rising signs will be different. Your moon signs will be different. Your Venus, your love signs will be different. Each person will have a different way they, that they move forward in their own natural pace and with the words that they say and the tone that they used. But, we see here that there is now peace, that there is, that you're confused no more. 
that you're confused no more. Five of Pentacles. See, it is an uncomfortable energy here. Two of Wands. Well, you're doing something with this Knight of Wands that you might have been afraid to do. You're, you're seeing how come you've been in the Five of Pentacles. Why have you been in the Five of Pentacles? Have you been afraid of consequences of making changes now that you've seen clarity, now that you have a, no more confusion about what's going on? Do you see why you've been in the Five of Pentacles? Because there is a strategy change here with the Two of Wands. There's a strategy change as you move forward. Because you could have been alone with the Five of Pentacles for a long time. You could have been living in poverty for a long time. You could have been left out in the cold by a lover or by family or by friends. You could have been unemployed. It's like you're seeing now the big picture of this. It's not easy to see the truth in something. It's not easy. It requires courage. It requires the deep need to change. The deep need to see a better day, to give yourself another chance to live a beautiful life. The dream of the future must be stronger than the feeling of the reality. The dream of the future, the goals of the future, must be stronger than the feeling in this Five of Pentacles reality. That's why you're in the Knight of Wands. And this is what the Knight of Wands can do. I'm not going to sit here and say it's an in and out energy. It's a player energy. I'm not going to discourage the Knight of Wands because it's a beautiful, beautiful energy, Leo. Don't let anyone tell you that the Knight of Wands is something to be looked away from. It's something to be thankful for. It's something to be reverent of. Should we discount an energy that has been given to us by the higher power? No, we should treasure this energy. Because the Knight of Wands can bring great change and yes, sometimes it can be foolish. But I'm smiling now. Because for all of us who have done things to change our lives, we've done things that have been foolish. And we will do it again. We will do it again and again. If it can bring us into a better life, we can take that chance. We can lose our reservations. We can allow the ego to go to the wayside. We can step into a situation where people will say, why is she doing that? Why is he, why is he doing that? I don't see the point of that. What's going to be in it for him? What's going to be in it for her? But is she going to leave this place and go somewhere else where she doesn't know anyone? It's letting those fears go and stepping into a powerful dream. The thing here now to be careful about is coming forward 
is, is to realize the difference between an illusion and a possibility. There's a difference between an illusion and a possibility. From, from our perspective, a possibility is something that you can actually connect the dots in your reality. And an illusion is something that you're not able to connect the dots. You have a dream, but you can't seem to connect the dots in the third dimension. A possibility is something that you can actually connect the dots and you can say, you know, I've made it this far. I can really see me being successful doing this because I have these skills. I know this person here. I have this connection over here. There's a building that has somehow shown itself that I could work in. It's like the universe is beginning to work with you on something and you can begin to connect the dots. You can begin to see an actual pathway forward. Now that's a possibility. What's an illusion? Where you can't really see the pathway and there really aren't any dots to connect. That's an illusion. And that's the best way that we can really describe it now. We're gonna work on this some more. What's the difference between a possibility and illusion and as we move forward in our experiences, the dots continue to come forward, don't they? As we begin to see farther into the future and to move farther down our pathways, those dots in the future of this coloring book that you're a tiny bug on of a big, huge page, right? So now I'm imagining a coloring book with dots, like when we were little children, we had, um, what is it? follow the dots or connect the dots. And if you imagine if you were a tiny, tiny bug on that piece of paper, and as you move forward on the piece of paper, you can start to see the dots coming towards you or you coming towards the dots. And that's how you can begin to connect the dots. And that's kind of how it is in life. So with the Knight of Wands energy, and as you're looking for a strategy, a game plan, it's going to be important to remember if you have those 3D dots, if you have those organic pieces of help that your spiritual team brings to you. And we all have those. We all have dots all around us. I know I'm getting off, but this is a message coming through, Leo. So please be patient with me because it's something that's coming through. We all have dots all around us. We just have to see them. And how do we see them? By finding the stillness. By finding the stillness. And connecting in to quiet. Being in a mindful place where we can see the details in the world around us. The little birds. Single blades of grass the rippling water in a little stream that we sit next to. We can also see the dots when we sleep well and we wake up in the middle of the night. Sometimes we can see the dots like that. It's going to be important for this group of people here, this Leo group, to, to begin to learn how to see the dots. See, there's a dot right here. That's a dot. What do your connected dots look like? What does your possibility, what do your possibilities look like? Now, possibilities are different than dreams and dreams are a necessity. We must have our dreams. We must allow the imagination to fly, to soar. But that's different than possibility. So there's a different energy around the word possibility, the word illusion and the word dream. Are illusions okay? Sure, they're a part of dreaming. But if we take action in an illusion, it can, it, can, it can distract us. It can keep us trapped in a fantasy, 
right? It can keep us trapped in a fantasy. There's a way we can connect the dots where we can see actual We can, we can see the steps that we can take to get there that are doable and reasonable. Then we can slowly, as we do that over and over, we can actually get to our dreams. But it's pretty hard to go from a space and to connect and be successful in a dream. It's, it's easier to break up the dream and to move forward in segments, which are in my, in the way I'm feeling it, are more of segments of possibilities. Okay, that's the end of that. So there is some sort of game plan here, a strategy, way to take action, a crossroads or an intersection that will allow you to change if you wish. You don't have to change. It will allow you to change if you wish. And each person that's listening to this is going to decide differently. That's because you're in the human experience. And you're on the forefront of your life. You're on the front lines. You're on the front lines of your life. We, we have this situation that's still here. So something that you're moving forward with in this passionate way in this way that is a strong way that it's hard to stop. The Knight of Wands, it's something that it's really hard to stop. Just like the Knight of Swords, it's, it's the Knight of Swords comes from the intellect. It comes from expression. It comes from the head area, right? The head, the mouth, the eyes, the expressions on the face, what the brain thinks, that's the Knight of Swords. Urgent, direct. The Knight of Wands is urgent, it's direct, but it comes from the abdomen area, right? It's a, it, it's, it's something that with the Knight of Swords, you have to express it. It is now time to express it because you found a place, something here that is needing to be, go out into the world. With the Knight of Wands, it's something that you must do. It's something that you must take action on, and it must be something that you experience in your world. That's a Knight of Wands. And it has to do with this situation that you're in right now. Let's dig deeper into the lover's energy. And then we'll be done. I don't think we need to go into the Seven of Swords. Because I think you are doing that now. And I think a general reading, um, we can go into it, maybe one card. Now that I'm here, I think there's a little bit of energy here that maybe I haven't uncovered. So let's go to the lovers first here. Lovers first. Queen of Pentacles. A fool. So you're looking here with the lovers energy at the details of this. The hard work that has gone into this. Maybe perhaps money or your safety or your security. How you feel about your money or your home. How you feel about do you feel safe at night? Do you feel okay with the amount of money you have in the bank account? Do you feel okay with your transportation, how you get to and from? Because the Queen of Pentacles lives in a daily life. She lives in the third dimension. And she is very much aware of what she owns, what her reality is, her resources, her money, and the work she does. She works hard. She's the backbone. We all have the Queen of Pentacles in us. If we didn't, we would be lost to this world. We would be a big, terrible mess if we didn't have the Queen of Pentacles. This is looking at details and understanding that there is always something to do. Something to do that might even be hard. Queen of Pentacles is compassionate, she's kind, but she's also firm. She knows when she needs to put her foot down. She knows when she needs to put a stop to something. 
And usually that stop comes when her world is impacted in a negative way, when her work is diminished, when her money has been affected in it with ill intention, when she sees no reward for her hard work, her deep intensity, and when she's realized that her health has been compromised, this is when the Queen of Pentacles takes action. And we have the Fool here, which is doing something differently than she's done before. Whatever it is, something new. And she might not even know how it will turn out. Can you imagine? This is a situation. This is what the Seven of Swords will do to one. This is what the Seven of Swords does to us. It forces us to change something about how we're, about our beliefs and our thoughts and our ideas. It forces us to change. And the Queen of Pentacles, do you think she likes to be in the Fool energy? Hell no, she doesn't like it. Queen of Pentacles and the Fool, these energies... This, this this is big for the Queen of Pentacles. She likes stability. She likes doing the tried and true. She likes to go on the paved road because she understands the pain and the suffering and the empowerment that it took for the people to make that road. And she understands how it brings comfort. And here's a road that she's going to create herself. So she's stepping out in a new way to do something different. And it doesn't have to be breaking up with someone, but it is doing something differently because her thoughts, her belief system, her way of understanding has changed. Let's go into the Seven of Swords now. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups, Six of Swords. Well, this is what it is. This is what the Seven of Swords... Okay. <laughs> Tell me more, please. I mean, this is what I've just described. <laughs> okay. Tell me more. <laughs> I think that's a hint. Like, are you sure you want to go here? Six of Swords is moving forward with different ideas, different belief systems that bring peace. You take the Seven of Swords. Maybe you're throwing away one. You're keeping all the Swords except for one. Maybe that's the message here. Because we're moving from a Seven of Cups to the Six of Swords, a Seven to a Six. Maybe there's one thing that you're changing. And that one thing has to do with this partnership. And you could have spent some time here trying to figure this out because I know it's about your belief system and your thoughts and your realizations and your decisions, but it has affected the heart and you know it affects the heart. Magician. Reinventing this. Rebuilding this. First comes the imagination. Then comes the possibilities where you can see the dots and the ability to think out of the box. The ability to see the connections that are around you. And then the, the going to work. That's what the Knight of Wands is, going to work around the situation of the lovers. Okay. Leo, I am going to, um, I'm not going to, sorry, I'm just getting messages. I, I'm not going to tell you what the answer is because everyone is different and everybody is going to be deciding something differently. And my team does not give you the answer book. And if there's somebody who's giving you the answer book,
I mean, when I was a kid and I didn't do very well in math, I had a very special friend. I still have this very special friend. And it was my senior year of high school. And I had a teacher that I couldn't understand. I didn't understand how this teacher taught. And I would think I was in, it was math. And my friend um, is a kind soul. And it was our senior year and she basically gave me the answers. Did I learn anything? No, I didn't learn anything in that class. And now if I think about going back to university, I remember that, that I didn't learn anything about Algebra 2. Now it came forward, it's Algebra 2. I didn't learn anything in that class. And it's stopping me from doing something perhaps that I'm dreaming of doing. The fear of not knowing how to do basic math that I know is a part of university, right? It's just an example that's coming forward. So it's best if we can learn from our experiences and go through the process even though we're scared or even though we're worried because that's what the Five of Pentacles is. And that's where you are right now. This message is coming forward lovingly, lovingly to you, my friends. I don't even know what I was doing and why I had the cards down. I'm just channeling right now. So I'm channeling and the words come and I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm at the end of this reading. So in the extended reading, I'm going to go into the people who are around you and how they feel about the situation. And I'll take this scenario out a month or two into the future, not too far, a month or two in the future. And I'll dig down and we'll see what information we can find. Thank you, my beautiful Leos. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to read for you. It's a pleasure to be in your energy. I wish you all the best. Stay healthy, stay well, stay optimistic, and I'll see you back here in another week or so. Thank you.